Azriel's castle on the Ice Plains. My brave knights, the enemies at the door. Now is our darkest hour. Have courage and still yourselves for the battle that lies ahead. I see a tower, dark and twisted, beyond the mount beyond the fire mountains. If I can read correctly. That is one evil looking castle. I'd love to have that castle. Guarded by dragon gaze. Our foe, Chief Zog, awaits us. Now summon the wizards and let battle commence. Storm whiz, wind whiz, ice whiz, elven whiz, and this is Mega Blade J. And today we are playing the very little known uh, real-time strategy game for the Game Boy Color, known as Warlock. So I um, actually stumbled on this game a few years ago. Oh, it's Peter now. Uh, yeah, I stumbled on this game a few years ago, and uh, to my surprise, I really had no idea there was any real-time strategy games on the Game Boy Color of all systems. Even more surprisingly, this game was actually published by Nintendo. So, um, this is a real-time strategy game, and we have a choice of picking between two different campaigns. We have the human side, led by uh, Queen Azriel, I think that's what her name was, and the monster side, which is led by Chief Zog. We're going to do the human side first. And I actually did, uh, I actually have uh, beaten this game before, so hopefully this won't wind up like my other Let's Plays, where I kind of stumble around horribly dying and having to edit out around my dying a lot. So hopefully I'll do a good in this one. So we're actually going to uh, replay the... Yeah, I did like the first three levels just to test out the recording here. So we're going to start from the first one here. Uh, the first level, Harvest. Uh, Queen Ezreal assigns you to build three farms to provide food for the army. You will mine gold and gather fuel for the war ethic. A team of grunts has been placed at your command to carry out all manual labor. So to win this uh, level, we have to build three farms, mine 500 gold, and gather 100 fuel. So, uh, let's go. Alright, so, this is Warlocked. Uh, basically how the flow of the game is kind of like other real-time strategy games. Uh, basically, you have your guys here. Uh, these are your little workers, or grunts. And I love the way they talk. Uh, that's really impressive for a Game Boy Color game, but... Okay, yeah, so... These guys can actually... Your grunts actually go around and collect material. Which will help you, uh... Build things. Uh, or... The F in the corner there stands for fuel. So they can chop down, chop down trees. I believe they can actually mine. Yeah, they can actually like uh, there should be a mine here somewhere as well. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna go mine some stuff. Yeah. So um, your workers can chop down trees to gather fuel. So take it back to the main hall and return for more. Yeah. So like I was saying, the uh, grunts here, the workers, will uh, basically go around and collect. Um, trees, and they will bring it back to your base to the supplies to build buildings. Um, let's see. To make selected workers build, choose an empty site and tap the B button. Then use left or right to pick a building type. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, see so you can do that right now. Yeah, so 
see I have this guy selected right here. And I go to empty space where there's nothing there. If I... Oh, I can't... Oh, I dove in gold. Okay, so I can't, can't do anything of that yet. Uh... So this is kind of like tutorial level. Um, they have like little scrolls scattered throughout the entire game. Which um, actually do give you hints. So this one's just basically just starting to make sure to scatter around. Uh, yeah, so this here, these little markings, markings here, are it's basically this game's version of the Fog of War, okay. where you can't see anything. And we got some gold, that's good. Okay, not sure. Yeah, so is that version, this is the game's version okay, of the Fog sure. of War. Oh, there's, there's, there's a gold mine right there. Okay. Hold down the button. Yeah. Okay, master. So, uh... Okay. There's more gold. Nice. Let's see, what are these guys doing now? Yeah, so that's the good thing about these little worker guys. Like, even if you're not telling me what to do, they'll, like, actively search out okay, the nearby master. supplies for crap. That's good. You come over here and set mine to gold for me. And then you actually take this gold over here. And I found a gold mine. Uh, finding the gold mine in the level was very important as it takes both money and fuel to uh, build different buildings that you will need to summon more troops. This one here. Um, yeah, it has been a while since I've actually played this game, so yeah, like, like, I, like I was saying right there, uh, you need golden fuel to build farms and get new uh, stuff. Okay. Okay, this guy's not doing anything, so and we should have gotten everything in here, I think. Yeah, yeah, everything's good here. So we're gonna build some farms now. So, um, I go to an empty space and push my options menu, and I have a farm, a, a, a farm here. Um, the farm is there to increase your units. I believe you can have five units on a field per one farm. So it's a good strategy to build a bunch of farms when you first start out. That way you can summon, summon more people to your field. Uh, the tower here is a defense tower. It will automatically shoot arrows at enemies that come near you. And this here is your training hall, which you use to create knights and archers to help you kill enemies. So, we're going to, uh, build a farm. Uh, the grunts or workers are the only ones who can actually, uh, build things. And they're actually pretty darn good at destroying things, too. Uh, so... A strategy I used when I first played the game was to get myself a bunch of these dudes here and have them just like bum rush an enemy base and they basically destroy the thing. As actually a some get later on to make things a little easier too. And there we go. Well done. Your workers completed the job. Party on grunts. And I love how they're drinking root beer. Isn't that awesome? Well, this is a Nintendo game, like I was saying. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna keep going. Uh, here's the results screen, results screen here. Yeah, so uh, this game does have multiplayer in it. And how many units you have at the end of a level actually does carry on to the multiplayer. So, if you... If you uh, barely survive with any of your people, you're kind of screwed in, in the multiplayer. But I don't have anyone to play with. I am lonely, so I won't worry about that. Did I say that out loud? Um, <clears throat> let's, 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 keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So yeah, there are a bunch of different units. We have the grunts, dirty workers, builders, and your destroyers. You have your archers there, which are archers to attack enemies from distance. And the blue guys there are our knights, which um, are our main fighters. We're gonna have a bunch of them. And then we have dragons. 
Oh, the dragons in this game are so sweet. They are basically powerhouses that can are immune to everything except for magic and arrows, I believe. Then we got the towers and then the money. Okay, move my time. <laughs> 